pallbearers um, would be the Uganda police force. It's exactly what is happening right there. As they move with his portrait, the last, um, the last steps of the face of the earth, of the body of the late Jacob Olanya right there. Quite a very emotional one um, that would definitely be coming through, especially for the family. But um, that's, that's the journey that all of us will take at some point in time. It's only a matter of time and a mode of how one gets to that particular point, but all of us will definitely at some point in time be able to get to that particular area. You can clearly see the casket has now been brought closer to a grave out of that um, area of picture that we are getting right now. The casket is uh, being brought closer to a grave where it will be um, put and then um, lowered. But before it is actually lowered into the grave, uh, we do expect that there will be a 17-gun salute that will be accorded uh, to him as a sign of respect, and that is according to the law, um, with the caliber and stature of the man he was. And um, the, his hierarchy and leadership, he will be accorded a 17-gun um, salute before he can be lowered into the ground to be able to um, meet his ancestors. Right there you can clearly see the casket uh, being placed right over the grave and right after there is when we will receive that 17 gun salute as a sign of honor. There's, there's been lots of signs of honor um, in the burial and final journey of the late uh, Jacob Olanya and, and part of that was the bola dance which initially or traditionally in the press was a dance that was actually um, given to royals but um, right now also at such uh, funerals of, um, of a very important and respected um, leader in society, the bola dance is also given. Uh, because the, uh, the dress code itself is a sign of royalty because the bola dance is actually a royal dance. The ostrich feathers on the heads of the bola dancers uh, do clearly indicate um, uh, do clearly indicate royalty because an ostrich is a royal one and many a times in the past it was leopard skins that were worn uh, but now it is um, you know a skin of any other animal that can be worn because of the extinction of many of such species of wild animals right there the uganda flag that um, has been draping this casket for all the time that he has been on uh, from the time that his body arrived has been removed because of course that is um, national property that is um, Ugandan property it cannot no one can be buried draped in the Ugandan flag um, that is um, that, that that is not expected of course it would be illegal that is why now the Ugandan flag has been removed off uh, the casket and thereafter, before the casket is lowered into the ground, um, we will have the 17 councillors. But also, one of the other things that, um, uh, one of the groups or societies that the late speaker belonged to, uh, the Bikers Association, they requested or they would love to see the man buried with a helmet. But right about now, of course, these are the last minutes on the earth. Let's take a look at how such a man is going to be buried according to them. I pray that you bless it, and Lord, the last day, when the trumpet is blown, you will be able to meet the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
bilo by a duo job and my canal by the chin tie. There will be gun salute, so please be calm. The hierarchy of the country is supposed to be buried. That right there was a 17 gun salute uh, that is expected to be given to him, and uh, the national anthem was sung.